Okay, in this video, we're just going to talk about an analog input. So you can use an analog sensor uh, for some type of trigger or something like that in your Arduino. So in this demonstration, I'm going to be using a photoresistor to read the ambient light in the room. So let's go ahead and grab a few components. We're going to need a, let's see, an Arduino Uno. I'm just going to drag that out. I'm very zoomed out here. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Uh, we're going to need a breadboard. We're going to need a uh, photo resistor or an LDR. And we're going to need a resistor. OK. Uh, I'm also going to demonstrate how to use the serial monitor to kind of get a sensor read value. Um, and you know what? We can go ahead. Let's grab a, uh, an LED, a second resistor, so two resistors, and an LED. So we'll make the, an LED turn on uh, at the right value here. OK. So let's just clean this up a little bit. I'm going to rotate my Arduino around, rotate my breadboard around, put them nice next to each other. Let's go ahead and we're going to rotate both. We're actually going to rotate all the components now that I look at it. So all the components, I'm just going to rotate them uh, 90 degrees to the right. Uh, let's see, rotate the resistors here. And let's go ahead and just space everything out. So the LED I'm just going to drop in, the LDR I'm going to drop in, and then we're going to need a few different wiring diagrams here um, with the resistors. I'm just going to move them closer and then zoom in so you can see. So what we'll do is we're going to run ground to the top pin on our ground column, on our negative column here. I'm just going to make that uh, let me make it black. We are going to run positive 5 volts to the top pin of our positive 5 volts column here. Make that red. You're going to run the LED to the cathode. So we have two different pins on a LED. That means that it's polar. Cathode is negative. Anode is positive. So I just connected my resistor 1 of 1K to the cathode to ground. The anode, we're going to run right to pin 13. I'll leave that wire green. And now the photoresistor, what we're going to do is the first terminal, and this is a nonpolar, so it doesn't matter which direction you go. Terminal 1 is going to go to, let's just say, plus 5 volts. Terminal 2 is going to go to analog 0. So that's A0. I'm actually going to run down and around so it's easier to see. So let's go A0. I'll make that wire uh, blue. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to run this resistor here. And we'll rotate this around. We're going to run this resistor from terminal 2. I'm going to change this to be a 10K, 10 kilo ohm resistor. And then from the end of the resistor, we're then going to run to ground. So we have LED cathode to a resistor to ground. We have LED anode to pin 13. We have terminal 1 of the LDR to 5 volts. Terminal 2 runs to analog 0. Uh, as well as a 10K resistor, which runs the ground. Let's start editing our code. Turn off block program. Delete all this code here. We're going to need a few ints. We have int LED, that equals 13. We have int LDR equals 0. Uh, and then let's do int sensor val. And we don't actually have to set that equal to anything. Okay. Um, void setup. First thing we have to do is set our pin mode for the LED. You do not need to set a pin mode for an analog. Um, so we're just going to do pin mode LED output. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to create a serial monitor that's going to let us monitor the sensor values of our LDR. So to do that we have to turn the serial monitor on. Um, I'm just going to enter so you can see it. It is a capital S, serial.begin, lowercase b. And then you have to put a baud rate, which is 9600 is the default here. So serial.begin, capital S, lowercase b, 9600. Close setup. Let's open up our loop. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to say that sensor val equals analog read, capital R, analog read LDR. 
So that's going to go ahead and read the value coming off of the LDR. Now, this value is going to change. It's a light sensor. So first off, not all LDRs are made equal. So you're going to have different values from different LDRs. Second, depending on what room you're in, that's going to change. Whether it's a really bright room, a not bright room, LED lights, uh, fluorescent lights, whatever. So you really need to read the values. And you could use a multimeter or you can go ahead and use the built-in serial monitor, which we just turned on in setup here. So I'm actually going to comment um, right here that says serial monitor on. So what we need to do now that we're reading this analog read, uh, we're reading it uh, using sensor valve, we're actually going to print or output the value onto the serial monitor. So I'm going to say serial capital S dot print LN sensor valve. And what print LN is going to do, it's going to go ahead and uh, write the value coming off of the, uh, the LDR in our serial monitor. So I'm just going to say um, write LDR value and it's going to print on a new line on a new line at 9600 refresh rate then we're going to go ahead and close our our loop so close loop let's start our simulation and turn your serial monitor on so to do that if it's not turned on already just push this button here so you can see that right now we're getting this 54 that means that we're reading an analog value of 54 what does that mean well it doesn't mean a whole lot yet but if you go ahead and just hide your code a little bit, if you click on your LDR, you're going to get this little um, slidey bar here. And we have a black dot and we have like a sun, a white dot. And this is adjusting the ambient and light in the room. So as I drag this down, it's basically equivalent to, say, turning on the lights. And you'll notice that your sensor value should increase as you go down. So this is basically equivalent to you turning on the lights using a dimmer switch or the sun rising. So this up here would be pitch black darkness, you're getting a value of 54, and this down here would be the sun rising, sun rising, sun rising. Now, we have a 10K resistor. That value could change depending on the LDR. If you're not getting a high enough value, you want to put in a lower resistor. If you're getting too high of a value, the, the maximum value is 1023, you want to put in a higher resistor. 10K is just a good place to start. So it looks like when it's dark out, when it's pitch black, 54 is our reading. Then we kind of sit around 800, and we increase very, very slowly up until we get to our limit of 900. So if I wanted to say, turn this light on when the sun uh, went down. So imagine this red LED are the lights in your house. When the sun goes down, you want the lights to turn on by themselves. So when the sun's down, it's 54. Okay. When the sun's up, it's like 800, 900 something. So if we said something like less than 800, um, we could say it's pretty dark out. We want the LEDs to be the LED to be turned on here. So let's go ahead and stop our simulation, and we're just going to do an if statement that says, okay, if sensor val is say uh, less than 800 digital right. LED high. So I'm just going to add a couple comments here. Let's close our, close our if statement. So what we're saying is, if it is dark out, turn on the lights. Then I can do an else statement. If it is not dark out, then we can do a digital right LED, oops, Digital right LED low. Turn off the lights. Close your else. Okay, and let's see if that works. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a simulation. Right now it is dark out, so we're getting our 54 value. The lights are on, and as the sun comes up, as I drag this, the lights turn off. So right now it's light out. The light, the interior lights are off. This red LED is simulating like the lights inside your house. Uh, and then when it gets dark, the lights come on. So that's how you can go ahead and use an analog input. And there's a lot of different analog sensors. If you just scroll through the components value, um, and if you just search something like, I don't know, let's just go all components here. I'm just going to hide this, all components. Let's see. I mean, there's photoresistors, photodiodes, ambient light sensors, PIRs, distance sensors, IR sensors, gas sensors. I mean, there's countless, and all of these can be used using an analog read.